Hey there, and welcome to my channel, The Paper Bag Investor. Today I want to look at a number of updated full self-driving clips from a great Twitter account um, and Twitter user named Kim Paquette. I will link her Twitter account down below in the description. Really encourage you to check out her account and follow her on Twitter as she continues to post more full self-driving tests and videos. And the reason I'm posting these videos from her and just the full self-driving videos that I'm continuing to post as the system improves is because as a long-term Tesla shareholder, and as you might be a long-term Tesla shareholder or considering being a long-term Tesla shareholder, full self-driving is so, 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 so important to the long-term value of Tesla stock as a whole. I personally believe it's going to be the biggest driver of value going forward, and that going forward, Tesla's sort of general overall strategy will be to continue to drive down the cost of their vehicles as much as possible, but even squeeze the margins on their vehicles as much as possible so that the overall retail price is as low as possible. And then they're going to make the most amount of money that really where they do make their money will be on the software side of things. That's paying for full self-driving up front as people buy a robo-taxi and enable robo-taxi technology. And then an even bigger portion is going to be taking the profits from every kilometer driven on that robo taxi, or at least a portion of the profits. And this is fundamentally going to change the way we live. And as a Tesla shareholder, again, I, I did another video just the other day where I, I did some sort of napkin math where I think by 2030, just the full self driving robo taxi side of Tesla could make the stock price go 16x uh, in the next 10 years which would give you a 32% compound annual growth rate for the next 10 years, which I'd say is pretty dang good. So again, the reason I'm posting these videos and the reason I'm so excited about this is because I'm blown away at the progress that, t that Tesla has achieved and has re released with this, with this full self-driving rewrite and then the beta version that they've released. And amazing, even just seeing that it, it's increasing day by day as people post more videos that have, that have this beta version. So let's get into it. I'm going to play these clips and then also be uh, sharing some of my thoughts over top. So this first clip, uh, I really, really like. She's, um, wherever Kim lives, there's very narrow streets. She comes to a stop sign. And these are really, really amazing. Uh, this example here, as you can see, swerves around the parked car into the other lane just because... Um, there's not enough space, very narrow street, and then this car and sees a car coming, so it pulls right over, and then pulls out, sees there's enough space ahead of it in the distance ahead, and drives ahead. Amazing. I'm just, I just love seeing these updates and seeing the progress it's making and can do. This video, again, is, I think some, this one, there's some, pretty some sort of wonky turns that it takes there's a curb there that juts out it has to kind of maneuver around another parked car with a narrow road we have to cross the double yellow line just to make it through so it just swerves over like like a human would <laughs> it's actually it's just amazing And then um, takes this wonky right turn, looks for traffic and yields, turns, takes the corner, amazing. This is a trickier intersection she was explaining. And it's sort of a, yeah, you kind of have to pull through here and then take a sharp left. And she did it. She said the other time she it had to do with a lead card. And, you know, not perfectly smooth again in this example. But, but and she said in that video, she really thinks her, she's doing these similar turns over and over. And, and it's getting better by the day even. Left turn here. Uh, it's funny that the left turn just looks so simple now. <laughs> Literally like a week ago this re was released and I was blown away by just a left turn. Makes the stops. And I really like that detail as it takes that right turn. It's There's such t 
tight 90 degree turns, but it pulls slightly to the left so it can make a smoother right turn. And then there's a guy uh, collecting garbage there, so it pauses for him. Uh, it's just so awesome. <laughs> Takes a left, but there's a pedestrian there, so it pauses for the pedestrian. Make sure there's no one there. And uh, oh, she took over there for a moment. Struggling there with that one. That's okay, you know, as a system struggles, and that's how anyone learns, it's how people learn. You send the, what the Tesla, the great thing is, they're able to get that feedback and see, oh, here's the, the situations where we had to intervene, where something went wrong, and then they can make improvements. And they're just constantly doing that. So it stops way back, it's very, very cautious still. And she was just feeling it's going too slow, so she took over again there. And his example, we got some speed bumps, which I hadn't seen yet before in any other examples. So that car pulled over, accelerates a bit, and then it slowed down a bit as it goes over there. So... So it slows down, like you can see it there just beforehand. Slows down for the speed bump. Another speed bump coming up. Oh, never mind, that was a crosswalk. There's another one. Slowed down a bit. And she's asking, she asked too in her video, and I would wonder too. Um, does it actually see the speed bumps or does it know that from a map? I would wonder if it could actually see them because, you know, we as humans can see them. And really, anything we can see, the system should be able to see and learn in the same way that we learn. That one was great. He swerved around the pedestrian and then around the cyclist, uh, which is, that was actually a really good example there as well, that one. So those are some of the newest and best examples I found on Kim's Twitter account. I really encourage you to go follow her on Twitter if you haven't done so already. I will, again, I'll link uh, her Twitter account down below in the description. It was also on the screen there. But again, some of my comments I said earlier in the video, I just want to reiterate, it's just so amazing to see these improvements in full self-driving and to see these, these people testing it out and doing it day by day and saying even from one day to the next, it's making improvements that they hadn't seen before is, is just incredible. And I think at Tesla as a company, even if full self-driving was maybe never possible, I think they're going to be a very successful company. But if you reach level five, full autonomy, robo-taxi, car can drive, is, and my definition of full autonomy is that you need to drive better than a very good human driver in all driving conditions. So that means in heavy traffic, in tight streets like Kim's driving around, uh, in snowy weather, that will be very interesting to see as, as someone who lives in Canada, um, how full self-driving is rolled out and tested in snowy areas and how it does in that kind of situation eventually when we get there. But for now, uh, what they are testing is just incredible to see. And as a long-term Tesla shareholder, I'm so excited about it. If you found this video helpful, I encourage you hit that subscribe button down below. While you're at it, hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out. My channel is all about looking at long-term high-growth investments, really trying to drill down and find these, these game-changing, once-in-a-lifetime companies and identify those so that you can invest heavily in those and really concentrate and do well in those companies. So, again... I uh, really appreciate you guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you all. Have a great day.